Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the relationship between technicians and your invoices. A great part of ESC is how the information flows from one part to the next. An excellent example of this is the technician time and labor rate and how it flows from a dispatch to an invoice. Timestamps are collected for a technician from the status changes he makes during the dispatch. Once the call is complete, we'll create the invoice. When the invoice is created from a dispatch, the information from that dispatch is carried to the invoice. On the Technician tab, number 2, we'll see dispatch information on the total times listed here. The total time can represent the travel and the working time, or just the working time. That selection is made from the Company System Setup screen. Go to the Dispatch tab to make that selection. For my example, I will use only time on site, or working time. If this technician had overtime on this call, you would enter it here. This time is computed from the time off on the dispatch minus the time on. The labor rate is drawn from the technician's labor rate, which can be found in the Enter Technician screen under the Dispatch drop-down menu. You see we have both a pay rate and an overhead value. These represent what you pay this technician, and the overhead would be other costs to you for this technician, like his health insurance or 401k contributions. The employee costs, which include labor rate plus their overhead rate per hour, are carried over to the invoice screen. You get the total by the hours times the cost. This is also where you can set up the percent credit. This will allow you to designate how much credit each technician would receive for the invoice. With this, you can run reports like the technician sales analysis and the commission reports. If the credit is 0%, this technician will not be credited with the sale of this invoice, even though they are added to it. If it is set to 50%, the technician will only get credit for half of the total sale amount. The total labor costs are then carried over to the Invoice tab, number 1, at the bottom. This number reflects the labor cost, not the labor charge. To add the labor charge, you would have to use a labor type billing code, such as LAB. Now that you understand technicians and how they contribute to your invoices, Check out our other sales tutorials. <music>